And hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning and autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This particular video, I'll introduce three different characters. And they are anti-heroes, as far as I know. And I apologize if I... Uh, end up correcting myself at any random point. And I hope that you guys are having a decent time with my podcast so far. If you guys bear with me, I'll introduce each of these characters to you. Yellow Carnage. Real name? None. Height? 6 feet 2 inches to 17 feet. Weight? 227 pounds to 2.7 tons. Status? Anti-hero. An ally of General Carnage. Base, two Earths, mobile. Intelligence, three brains to two brains. Behavior, savage, destructive, and willful. She's always in a bad mood. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, she has bad anger issues. Powers, she possesses the same powers as General Carnage. Eyes, bright yellow. Hair, deep red, short, and spiky. Origin. One time, General Carnage decided to create another duplicate of herself for her forming Carnage Corps team. After some progress, she created a yellow version of herself known simply as Yellow Carnage. However, after getting her foot run over by a taxi, Yellow Carnage transformed into her maximum form, causing her to go berserk on New York City. Eventually, General Carnage teamed up with Red Carnage and Blue Carnage to restrain Yellow Carnage. Since then, Yellow Carnage would try to avoid getting angry, especially if it wasn't worth it. Costume. In her normal form, she wears a female general uniform. In her maximum form, she wears a pair of red undergarments. Team Solitary with the Carnage Corps and others. Original Inspiration, Marvel's Yellow Hulk. The next character I'm going to introduce is also an anti-hero. And I hope you guys could bear with me. Slayer. Real name, Tina. Height, 250 feet. Weight, 35 tons. Status, anti-hero and rival of Dragonoid. Base, Fable, Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, relentless and stubborn. She'll do anything to avenge her family, even if it means killing all dragons. Lethality. Extremely dangerous to all dragons. Weaknesses. She sometimes underestimates her opponents. Powers. She has great size and strength, martial arts, and a strong nerve on her surroundings. She wields a variety of bladed weapons and an elephant gun that fits her size. She also has a brutal urge to win. Eyes, purplish blue, hair, ageless red, and spiky. Origin. On the planet Fable, Tina was an everyday 5 foot 6 inch tall elf who witnessed her family getting killed by a traveling Jabberwocky, which since gave her the urge to destroy all dragons. Eventually, Tina was transported to the Tomb of Voodoo, who convinced her that all dragons were corrupt. Afterwards, Voodoo transformed Tina into becoming 250 feet tall, along with granting her with an arsenal of weapons. Slayer then went out to New York and tried to kill both Dragonoid and Dragoness, until being told that there are still some innocent dragons. Since then, Slayer would always examine any opponent before battle. Costume. She either wears fabric, elf clothes, or a suit of armor. Team, solitary, or with others. Order of inspiration, Dragon Slayers. The last one, as far as I know, is an imperfect duplicate of a member of the Hoof Heroes, and I hope that doesn't count as a spoiler. I hope you enjoy so far. Alicorda. Real name? None. Height? 8 feet 7 inches. Weight? 742 pounds. Status? Anti-hero. An ally of Unicorn. Base? The Quirky Dimension. Mobile. Intelligence? Two brains. Behavior? Innocent and unexpected. She'll do anything to avoid rejection. Lethality, only during a fight. Weaknesses, she has a low IQ number. Powers, 
She has similar powers as Unicorna. Eyes light pink, hair bright silver in shoulder length. Origin. In the quirky dimension, the native Unicorna is rather an imperfect Unicorn Centauri known simply as Alicorna. When she was traveling through the portal system of Portal, she visited the default dimension and encountered Unicorna and her hoof hero's allies. Eventually, a traveling Quetzodon appeared and tried to attack them. And after some struggling, the hoof heroes were barely able to kill it. Now a pair of lifelong friends, Alicorna and Unicorna, would do all that's needed to protect the innocents from interdimensional chaos. Costume. She wears the same kind of top as her default counterpart. Tame Solitary with Unicorna and others. Original Inspiration, Unicorns, and DC's Bizarro. Well, I hope that those three characters are worth it for you guys. And I hope you guys aren't distracted by me wearing this. It just occurred to me to wear these, and I just hope it's a wise option for me to do so. And just so you know, a Quetzodon is head, tail, and fins of a shark, rest of the body of that of a Quetzalcoatlus, which is like a pterodactyl, but bigger. Um, and also, the planet Fable, where Zlayer is from, it's basically a fairy tale planet. That's the best way for me to describe it to you. And if you guys want, I'd like to hear you guys' uh, perspectives on how you feel about my podcast so far. What do you guys think that I should add or or uh, hold back in terms of data transmissions? I just want to, uh, I refuse to be selfish, you know? And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. If you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the week of June, and all that stuff. Until next time, in transmission.